Hi everybody, I'm here with Zeus. As I mentioned, when you have the long line, if you decide to use a long line, you just gotta get good at handling that leash. You can use it like a short leash, but then you have the advantage of releasing these rings of the leash. Now you got a long line. That's it. As with every training session, get your treats ready, make sure you have the proper treats for your dog. And you could also have an A, B, C category treat. Say I'm doing a, any engagement drill. Uh, eyes. Eyes, 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 good. Zeus, come. Zeus, come. Sit. Down. Sit. Yes. All of these drills might be with my B tree, which is your average tree. Every now and again, I whip out the A tree. A treats are for a drill that might be a little more challenging, a little more hard. Heel. Placement for my auto set. Good. Heel. Placement for my auto set. Down. Stay. No. Down. Stay. Stay. Reiterate that command. Stay. Zeus, come. Yes, my lord. Okay, we're going to take a minute. That's a lovely dog. Thank you. You mind talking about it? Oh, that was not a good time because we're filming it. So maybe on the way back. Sorry. Bye, big guy. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Where's he going? Maybe. Again, we use the spin. Eventually, it's used to build excitement in the dog's drills. Not just for me, but for him. Down. Sit. Heel. Good boy. Spin. Good. Yes, good boy. Now let's transition from the beginner down to the more advanced command. Because that's new for some of these new guys. Or the young guys. Sit. Yes, good boy. So there you see how I use a couple of tools. When I first do the down, he understands. When I do it next and I start to progress to this command, I might just give the verbal. See the reaction I get. Two things will help with the down. One is the verbal, down, and if I bring my body down, he starts to get the idea. So then I might say down, body language, follow with the hand signal. Eventually all I need is this, and down he goes. Hand signals are really important for the dog. Again, with the healing placement, two ways to get the dog healing in the right position. One might be luring like this. Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I can control the position of his nose. If I can control his nose, I'm basically in control of his whole body. Heel. Let's go. That's how we begin training, controlling the nose. Another way to control healing, it's not a problem for this young man. Sit. Stay. But you can also heal a dog alongst a wall. So the dog might be on my left side, and I use the wall as a barrier to keep him right in position if a dog was to veer too far away from my side. Many different techniques. But a kid like Zeus, he's doing great in his training. What I really like about Zeus is his eye contact. Watch his eye contact in the heel. And this is stuff you really want to reward. Heel. Good boy. Eyes. Yes. Heel. Eyes. Yes. <laughs> Sit. Good. Come. Sit. 
Yes, good. Soy su brother. Eh, 